Hi, welcome to this Arc Linux build. And we've just uh, created um, the Conkey, so we've uh, documented everything on the website, the creation of the AOR Lazuli Conkey. And it's a specific kind of Conkey, in the sense that we can actually monitor how much we download, how much we upload, if we enable the VNstat, and if we make sure that our network interface card is known to the system. But um, that's all been done, that's, everything is taken care of that, and we have updated the packages in, and it's active, it's there. And this video is more about what if you get a conkey in and you want to change it. So again, um, no tutorial about how to modify, how to make the conkey um, your own. And I have this beautiful wallpaper that just came in from Variety and I thought, it kind of looks okay with it, but it could be nice to try out if what happens if we take the red or the blue and put it in the conkey. It might even be more nice. And so, what's the procedure to change? In previous video, so the videos that are in here, I also explained scale and backup scale. Now, the dangers of scale and backup scale is that you override your own conkey. That's not interesting right so control h you make sure that you have this config and this conky config all here so this is my direct way to go to the dot config conky and every time you do a scale you copy paste over all these files that we create but if you have a new file of your own it will never be overwritten so aor lazuli is maybe better that you control c control v this guy and say this is going to be my version. And I'll never touch this one as I don't know the name. This is unique. Never will be overwritten. So that's one thing. We're not, we leave it open, but this one, what we're looking at, is not yours. So first get rid of your conkey. So the this conkey is gone. Delete it, right? We agree, it's not functional anymore. And then we're going to choose your own, the one that you copied, the one that you renamed, like so. Now you're pretty sure that what you're looking at is this thing and not that thing. So whatever Arch Linux is throwing at you in the ETC scale, this file will never be overwritten. Great. So that's that. You see that I've uh, reorganized my uh, Sublime uh, program application here so that I can see it close to one another so I can compare and look for the lines. So if you say mm, the color AAA I believe it's all this gray thingy. Uh, we have this this application that's called GPIC. It's I thought somewhere in here but it might not be I don't know. So GPIC is a color it's this one yep was in there so I could say click on swatch area to begin adding colors to palette okay so click 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 all right one of those and then press spacebar to sample color on the mouse pointer so let's let's get some colors in so these are all the red kind of things these are all the blue thingies so these are variations of colors that I just picked from the wallpaper okay now it's up to us to be creative and say hmm this color yes this color no so if you don't know I know it's because I just made another tutorial but if you don't know what color one is then you just change it to red F F O O O O so this is red the first two let's do it again this is red, saying red all in. This is green, say no green. And this is blue, red, green, blue, R, G, B. Save. And now you know what color one means. So everywhere where it says color six, like here, control find, color one, all the color ones, find, 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 or control H, replace with, you can replace with color tool, color three, color five, I don't know. Then you have um, 
these elements will have color one okay so it is already red actually um, but it's not maybe our red so darker a lighter red heavy red I don't know let's try something quite heavy in coloring so color one Control V, just one hashtag, and go, save. It's not that heavy at all, so that's okay. Or we could say, what about, since it's in the blue part, have it blue, this one. Go back to the color, let's put them here again. Save. How about bluish? Do we like it this? Well, it's actually, I think it's better. It doesn't stand out now, but that's personal preference. Okay. And you can say maybe I have um, not enough space. You're watching here on 1920 on 1080 pixels. You might say, hey, I don't have enough space here. So Let's get rid of some of these lines. Remember the tip, it works here as well. As you see, this tip in making, resizing our application is next to the spacebar, press on Alt, the left, not Alt GR, Alt, keep pressing, right mouse click on the mouse, and then you can make it bigger, smaller, resize it. The thing is, so these lines, why so many lines? Why not delete a few? Okay, so just three processes. Three of these guys, three of these guys, and see, delete, see how that goes. A bit smaller, okay? So one, two, three, alignment. In the meantime, you see VN stats is gathering information so receive, downloaded, sent, uploaded. Um, what else could we do? We can change fonts as well. We can change coloring of the CPU bars. Yeah, why not? Actually, I think it's nice at this point in time. I say, don't touch it again. It's actually beautiful the way it is. I'm just thinking of uh, more variables to teach, um, but not sure if there's anything useful here. So sizes maybe, Ubuntu size. So if you had say, rather have it a little bit bigger, just change the number. The coloring, we've explained in another video about the CPU bar, it was yellow and I've changed it to white. So go check there, I suggest uh, you do that. Or you could actually also try out this blue look. So if, if this is blue, it's something changed here now. This is the network graphs. And here you see this blue line. But like I said in the other vid video, I really don't like that this bottom line is actually colored as well. So it will, will, what will happen if this graph gets to here, it starts becoming blue. And it's bluer, 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 and here's bluest, right? So it gets closer and closer to this color, from that one to this one. But, not a fan. So, you can see that in the other video. Ubuntu size, you can go smaller. Maybe some of you don't like my size being that big. I don't know. So, Control H is what I did. Control V, nope. <laughs> Control C, Control V. And just go to 10. So everywhere you find Ubuntu size 11, replace them all with 10 and save. Wow, still not bad. Still okay. By the way, I can still read it. But it's all preference, right? And for the rest, you could go to other fonts, like I said. That's a little bit more tricky to find out the name of the font. 
We have here Purisa. I don't think Purisa is installed. That was from Arch Linux, so it it falls back to well another font. So I can uh, correct that as well. So fonts just to Ubuntu then. So it's falling back on another, well, probably on Ubuntu. <laughs> so let's see what this has as code. It's not in here. Here it is. So it's falling back on Ubuntu size 10 oblique. Is that oblique? I don't think it's oblique at all. Save. I'd rather have everything in 11. Then you do so. So if you don't define it, if you don't define the font, it's gonna be this one. But I think most of the things will be defined. It starts here and it ends here. So you can end a font and you can start a font. So it all depends what I did in the past. So here it starts the font. And at some point it will end the font as well. But if it never ends the font, it just keep on, keeps on going. So it just keeps being that font. So that's also interesting to know. So here it starts, uh, stops the font. And then you fall back to the general font. That's how I understand. So send might be, let's see, let's exaggerate. You agree? I think you can agree, right? So 11 is probably better for me. And then put it everything back. So control Z, control Z, control Z, control Z, control Z, control Z, control Z. So 10 oblique, control Z, control Z, all back to 11. Control Y. Okay, this is and, and where I want to go. And Ubuntu size 10 is not correct. Control H. Back to 11. Thank you very much. Safe. And we're back at where we were. And that's probably how I like it anyway. So, we have now our, a new version. And what you could do, and what I did in the past, is rather than calling this thing uh, Eric, I will call it blue, you know, or something else, anything azul or something, something nice, fucking some name about color. By the way, if you have no uh, inspiration in coloring, uh, they used to have these names be behind it, I guess no longer. Clear names, auto name, no. Auto name, no. No. So, okay. We have now a new conkey called AUR Lazuli. It's practically the same. You can compare. It's practically the same. It's just some colors that we changed. Here we changed to Ubuntu, Purisa to Ubuntu. And basically that's it. We deleted some lines here, deleted some lines there. And that's what we did, what we created and will never be, be overwritten again. Since I've changed the conkey, conkey Zen, the name, remember. I go to where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I go back to AOR. Hmm. Am I missing it? Exit. I'm getting tired. So A U R Lazuli Azul. Fine, there you are. I don't think it's too bad. Let's, let's, uh, let's look to look for the next uh, couple of hours. It's a nice screen. All right, enjoy changing everything, guys. <laughs> 